sparkling savings at Brookings Auto Mall. We've made a special purchase of 2016 Chevy Malibus. Eight to choose from starting at just $13,995. Details at BrookingsAutoMall.com. Brookings Auto Mall. What's in your driveway? An unusual scene near Hartford is raising a lot of questions. We'll tell you what our news crew saw there. A social media post stirred up some concern for the drinking water in Brandon. We'll tell you what city leaders had to say. The Sioux Falls Air Show takes off in only two days. We'll tell you what you need to know about the big event. Good morning. This is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. We'll have your top news stories in just a bit. But first, let's send it out to meteorologist Scott Munt, who's in Sioux Falls with a quick check on your forecast. Scott. Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, we are looking at partly cloudy skies to the east, but to the west, they're already a little darker and thicker. And we'll watch developing showers and thunderstorms for today. Temperatures will hit the 70s to near 80 degrees. And the things about the storms today is they may produce large hail, maybe gusty winds too, but I think hail is the main threat with any storms that do develop. There is a slight risk for severe weather for today, and that covers much of central and eastern South Dakota. In just a couple of minutes, we'll talk to Max. You may have heard the plane right behind me, but uh, he'll talk about what's going on with our air show coming to Sioux Falls this weekend. In the meantime, back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Scott. Something we hope to learn more about today. An unusual scene unfolded just off of Interstate 90, just east of Hartford. The Highway Patrol, Minnehaha County Sheriff's Office, and the DCI surrounded an abandoned red pickup in a soybean field just before noon yesterday. Some of the vehicles drove past the truck and into another field. We also spotted ambulances, fire trucks, and tow trucks nearby. We've reached out to the agencies involved, and at this point, we haven't received any information about what was going on. We hope to find out the details later today. Despite a social media post, the city of Brandon is assuring everyone that the drinking water is safe. The post showed an image of a report saying the water in Brandon had unsafe levels of radium. City officials conducted their own report with the state to show those results on social media were not accurate. But it still sparked a debate among people living in Brandon. The Project SOS giveaway is just days away, and the banquet is in desperate need of character backpacks. Princesses and superheroes and other characters are especially popular with children going into preschool and kindergarten. Unfortunately, not many people have donated them this year, and the banquet needs them by tonight. You can drop them off at Lewis, Hy-Vee, or at other participating businesses. And if your family is in need of school supplies, you can go to Whittier Middle School for the school supply giveaway. The giveaway starts at 9 o'clock Saturday morning. Your child needs to go with you to the giveaway so they can pick out their own backpack. They also need identification. It was a special night on Kello TV as we got to hear the inspirational stories from families impacted by Children's Miracle Network. If you missed our Children's Miracle Network special, don't worry. You can catch it right now on KelloLand.com. We've posted the entire show along with links to donate and pictures of all the kids who were featured. And you can still text KELLO to 51555 to donate to Children's Miracle Network. In Sioux Falls, people are gearing up for a busy weekend at the Sioux Falls Air Show. But for those looking to get started early, Kello Land's Max Hofer is sharing some events that are happening tonight. Good morning, Max. Good morning, Sophie. I'm right outside the Maverick Air Center right now. But before uh, the planes take off on Saturday tonight, you actually have a chance to take in some rich history here as they're getting, they're having a hangar party here at the Air Center from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. There will also be a dance tribute to the Vietnam War veterans, and they will have Vietnam era military crafts on display here as well. And those aircrafts are coming from the Kavanaugh Flight Museum. And now many of the pilots performing in the show are actually making it here in town this afternoon. And to see how the skies are looking for weather, I'm actually going to go ahead and toss it over to Brian Karstens. How's the skies looking, Brian? Well, the forecast later this afternoon might feature some storms around. We've kind of got that broad zone of a slight risk of severe weather from Sioux Falls all the way into uh, western Nebraska. Here's kind of the timeline on this. We think that we start things off here fairly quiet, but quickly by midday already, developing scattered thunderstorms here in Mulbridge and Timberlake and Faith, and then Pier gets involved with that, and then I think what will happen here, Sioux Falls probably gets just enough sunshine to destabilize to the point that, yeah, these thunderstorms will probably hold together as they sink and slide to the southeast. And again, 
it looks like to me that things are getting more organized as we've been watching the new data coming in this morning on that. I would ramp that, that up to at least a 50% chance of thunderstorms in Sioux Falls, perhaps more, but it'll be one shot. And then the overnight period looks drier. Tomorrow morning, there could be some rain in the southwest as we'll examine that. It looks like 80 degree weather for the weekend. It looks like the chance of thunderstorms right now is late Saturday. Kind of confining it to that time frame at this point. Hot and humid early next week for everybody. Getting into Monday, it could be well into the mid and upper 80s. Thunderstorm chances will hang around here for Aberdeen, most likely again Saturday night. And for Pier in central South Dakota, a warm weekend, but a hot Monday. That could be a day near 90. Rapid City, too, looks like it'll be much warmer into early next week with drier weather. Thanks, Brian, and thanks for joining us for Kelo Land on the Go. Be sure to join us on air for midday in Kelo Land. Until then, you can get up to the minute developments right here on KelloLand.com. Now go have a great day.